that time again, is it? Hello, everybody, and welcome back uh, to the Black Reliquary. Ba -na -na -ba -na -na -bum -bum. Alrighty. This is patch 0 0.4. Uh, still in testing, but we now have an entirely new area. And I'm quite excited to see what awaits us. So, first things first. You might notice there's been uh, significant progress. For one, the uh, start of the day log is a lot different. We actually have a guy who's like, Ahoy! And gives us the news. So, all hands are to make accommodations for our guests and help get them situated. Enabling tutorials is recommended. Press H to open the help menu. Oh, geez. So, we know most of this. However, I will just go ahead and very slowly scroll down this. Now, the thing... Oh, well, okay, it doesn't scroll. Never mind. Now, the things that stand out to me are, for example, you might noticed. Now, you might have noticed. Districts have now been added, but they are now called side decks, and we're able to unlock them at week 5. As far as I know, they're available at week 5, but we still have to build them. So, we don't just get them for free, although I wish we did, that'd be nice. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, for the most part, this is what we've got. So, crew directives. We got the Janissary, the Enchantress, the Matron, and, well, the two Matrons. And now, we have two extra ones. We have the Gastrosaur, the Greater Sandworm, and we also have everybody giving us a nice little smile waiting for us to do what we came to do. Now, something I'm noticing right away, a lot of this is now animated. It is no longer still. How they did that? I don't know. You got me. Total black magic on how they fully animated this. Now, one thing I do notice, you, it, it's not actually transparent anymore, um, which I can potentially see some people having trouble with if you um, don't see them, but eh, it'll be fine. So it's going to take us a minute to go through all of the new stuff on our Zeppelin. But the Amber Workshop is now up and running. So Amber Refinement, we convert raw Amber into refined Amber, and it also stress heals. So this is a stress heal. Um, as far as I know, depending on where we put them, maybe it's stress heals, or maybe it just depends on how much we've upgraded it. Not entirely sure. Indulge in the delights of cleansed amber. So all in all, this is going to be super, super useful. Oh, and before I forget, I need to turn up the narrator. There we go. All right, let's see what the upgrades have in store. Upgrading the amber workshop increases types of production and stress healing while bolstering their effectiveness. So, the refinement technique improves the amber refinement process. A base yield of 5 to 7 refined amber dust, which I believe is essentially the um, comet shards, but different. So, we need 6 regular amber to upgrade this. Exchange upgrades improve our bargaining power with the Rot Herring Corporation or company. No, I'm pretty sure it's company. Base yield 5 to 7. Lost tech. And the amber den. Improves the den's facilities. Side effect chance. Gain stress buff of 50%. Now, I believe that is if we indulge in the delights of the amber, we have a chance to gain a 50% extra stress debuff for our next mission. Or it's forever. I don't know. But, uh, as we can see, that is a pretty solid downside considering it stress heals for a hundred base like that's insane that immediately unless they're above a hundred that immediately wipes out all afflictions that is super super good next thing we're gonna look out look at is our captain my dear old friend it is a relief my letter found its way to you so quickly settle in our task ahead is neither simple nor easy 
just as handsome as he's always been. Now, we could scroll down and see the other bosses. However, that'd be a little bit of a spoiler, so we're not going to do that. Let's see, the clinic? Within one's own mind can be a terrible place to be if it is not cared for. This guy looks completely trustworthy. Let's see. The treatment library reduces the cost of quirk, uh, quirk treatments, reduces the cost of disease treatments, and increases the amount of slots. All in all, it's basically what you'd expect from a clinic. Then we have the funeral site. There will be losses, and they will be given proper remembrance. But we mustn't linger on our failures. Now, when he says proper remembrance, it looks like they're just going to be thrown off. The <laughs> they're just gonna yeet right onto the sand. So I'm not, I'm not so sure they're uh, gonna be properly remembered. But <laughs> that's fine. Be it prized gem or unremarkable stone. These mere objects are invaluable to our success. Let's see, the oddities dealer also... <laughs> um, let us see. Improved stock increases the number of available oddities, reduces the cost, and this is the chance for rarities. Apparently 1% chance for a nomad. Interesting. And we do also have her. This is what we'll be using the star shards for. Is she like a scorpion? Or does she just have a blade at the end of her hair? Is this like new from Blaze Blue? I'm sure no one knows what I'm talking about, but that's fine. So these are all new trinkets. Oh, man. Oh, there's so much new stuff. Oh, this is so cool. Okay. <clears throat> We're just going to give a really quick glance over. Cox Swains, Cox Swains Cutlass. Contraband, Blackjack, it cannot debuff or stun. However, doing a melee attack will bleed for 4 over 3 with 100% uh, base chance, plus 10% bleed chance, and plus 1 bleed amount per skill level. So at level 5, it would gain an extra 50% bleed chance and plus 5 bleed amount. That's kind of insane. And on melee attack hit, buff party, 6% crit chance versus bleeding. If bleeds are as powerful as they were in previous installments, that's going to be broken. Obviously only against, like, one person. But I may be looking at that crit chance versus, bleed ver ver versus bleeding. Put a flagellant and a houndmaster on the same team. That's a lot of bleeds. Amber Grinder. 50% damage if refined amber dust is in your inventory. 50% armor piercing. On monster kill, after combat, gain one refined amber dust. On monster kill, clear corpses. That's interesting. That seems like your way to farm refined amber dust a lot easier. Now, it does seem like we can also craft it to some extent. So, I'm. Pr it seems like there might be a, a multiple ways to farm it out. However, this, to me... Seems like it could be really good. However, I would imagine the Antiquarian actually has to get the kill, which is easier said than done in some cases, but this trinket does make it a lot easier. Damascene Pistol, which is 50% damage while marked, plus 10 dodge while marked, on range attack, self-mark for the battle, and on repost hit, have a 50% chance to clear the mark. Interesting. So you would only use your repost if you think you're going to get in a little bit of trouble. That's, that is interesting. The Sticks Urn. It's for the Plague Doctor. Minus 300% damage versus corpses. Uh, minus 6 speed if there is no corpse. But when you attack a corpse, you get more blight chance and amount for 4 battles. However, you debuff yourself for minus 4% max health. Interesting. So that makes your blights really, really powerful, but you become a bit of a glass cannon. Okay. The big prize. Plus 40% damage versus marked. However, minus 60% debuff and marked skill chance. Minus 12 speed, but on marked for death, hit. Plus 3 speed for every marked enemy. That's really good for a marked party, but if he's the only marker, doesn't seem that good. 
Dissonant Relic, this is for everybody. Unfriendly skill, buff target, plus 8 dodge if not pagan, plus 5 accuracy if not religious. Unfriendly skill, debuff the target, minus 8% max health. Ouch. So this is really good for someone who's just faithless. Because then, on every friendly skill, they gain 8 dodge, 5 accuracy. But that downside... But, well, it's potentially offsided by the dodge. So I would imagine this is the best for, like, a faithless team. That, that's what I think, for that one at least. Pile Bunker. Plus 30% damage. Receive 20% of direct damage dealt from attacks. A ca attacks cannot be reposted. Now, when it says that, does that mean if we do 10 damage... We take two damage. Interesting. So you probably want a really big healer for that one. Okay. Ghoul Serum Injection. On friendly skill, the target has a 30% chance to gain the symptom of ghoul fever. If target has untreated ghoul fever or ghoul plague, give them plus 8 accuracy and plus 15% damage for two turns. So we essentially turn them into like a mindless killing machine killing machine zombie hmm i am okay my mind is already spinning with the with the possibilities that this can bring this is insane amalgamated leech for the judicator 20 percent damage if you have amber residue in your inventory minus 15 percent bleed and blight resist and on monster kill you have a 67 percent chance to gain one amber residue interesting now, I don't know what the Amber Residue... Oh, wait a minute. Is that what you... Cr is that what you use to craft the refined um, Amber Dust? That could be interesting. Hmm. So, there's, a, there's potential here for, like, a multitude of ways to actually get this dust. Okay. Jolly Bandana for the Arbalist. Battlefield... <laughs> Battlefield Bandage can't heal. But on friendly skill, you get 25% damage. You get a 25% damage increase versus marked on both yourself and whoever you use the bandage on. Okay, that would be really good with the big prize. Horn of Fervor for the Hellion. Barbaric Yop does not debuff or stun. However, it does buff the party with 15% damage and 3% crit but minus five accuracy for everyone. So you essentially turn everyone into a light version of a leper. The blood taint strain for the abomination. The hero cannot dodge, but on being hit, you buff yourself to deal more blight. On rage and slam, you deal blight, and on rake, you deal blight. <coughs> <coughs> However, based on the skill amount, you will also apply more Blight. That seems interesting. That is a really... Actually, well, isn't there something in Butcher Circus that's like this? Or is it with Bleed? I don't exactly remember. But this... This, um... This rewards you for not playing the quote-quote ranged abomination. This is more of like an all-in, I'm gonna be hit, but I'm gonna debuff you like crazy sort of abomination. Amber, cons amber consuming capuchin, which we noticed the other guy has, plus 100% food consumed, attack enemies that utilize amber between rounds. Oh, interesting. So if an enemy has any sort of amber ability, it'll deal 4 to 8 damage, plus 45% damage per difficulty, and it also debuffs the target for minus 5 dodge, plus 50% amount per difficulty. That seems insane. That's just kind of automated damage on some enemies. Interesting. The Clockwork Heart for the Leper. Minus health, minus speed. On attack, hit. Buff self for 20% damage and 3 speed, but you take 4 damage. Oh, jeez. This seems kind of nasty, actually. Uh, this one doesn't seem too worth it. So whenever you hit something, you take damage, you take increased damage, but you deal a lot of extra damage, and you're faster. However, the reason I don't think this is worthwhile, that 
plus 15% damage taken applies to the suffer for damage. Because I've seen it on other characters, they deal self damage. If you have a debuff where you take more damage, it increases it. So instead of four, it'll be five. Instead of five, it'll be six, you know, stuff like that. So that is a little bit nasty. It might be okay if you have a healer. However, the effects are purged if you go, for example, his heal. The Smoldering Soapstone for the Occultist. Minus 75% healing done. Not that he does much healing anyway, if you're me. An unfriendly skill, the target gains stealth. Now, would that work with his ability that already apply? He doesn't have it anymore. Or no, I'm thinking of Butcher Circus. Okay. <laughs> I'm just dumb. I was thinking of Butcher Circus, the ability where he stealths and puts a regen. Okay, okay. So essentially, it turns it into that. Okay. That is still... See, I think the, I think it will still be very useful, especially because he has an amber move. Now, here's something interesting. Now, okay, it specifies his enemies. Because if he attacks us, that's not good. The Snake Wine for the Shield Breaker. More stress damage, but on friendly skill, activate repost. Whoa. So, for example, if you go for her shield move, it'll only give you one block, but you gain a repost for two turns. You also get plus 10 accuracy on your repost per difficulty. That's interesting. Less defensive, more aggressive. Huh. The Thieving Gloves. Ignores stealth. Melee attacks cannot be reposted, but on melee attack, you steal the targets. Bleed, Blight, Mark, Restoration, Repost, and Stealth. This is bad if your team is a dot team. So if you dot someone, they're going to take 30 damage, and then you hit them while having the Thieving Gloves on, you're about to take 30 damage, and you just purged it from them. So this is really good unless unless you are bringing a dot team yourself, in which case you're quite literally dotting yourself up. The Living Ammo, Musketeer only. Minus 20% healing received. On Monster Kill, equip Live Ammo. On Monster Kill, plus 50% healing received if Live Ammo is equipped. Interesting. So that's probably an ammo she doesn't start with, right? Yeah, she doesn't start with live ammo, so whatever live ammo is, it's something unique. The Private Reserve for the Grave Robber. More crit, less accuracy. On crit, you shuffle. Wait. Okay. On crit, you shuffle, and then you stumble for two rounds. Okay, so you move around. You're drunk, basically. You hit super hard, but then you can't find your balance. The Flesh-Eating Helm for the Flagellant, on attack, hit, self. You take 5 damage. But, every time you hit, if you're below 33% uh, health, you deal an extra 40% damage. If HP is below 33%, you do not take damage, and it also comes with the debuff of minus 20% max HP. Perfumer's Needle. Gain a permanent repost, which gives you plus 15 accuracy, minus 60% damage. You have a lot less chance to apply any sort of debuff, uh, be it Blight, Bleed, Debuff Mark. But on repost hit, you gain one extract at a 33% chance, but it differs based on the dungeon. Okay, interesting. The Overgrown Sitar for the Jester. Minus 8 dodge. Battle Ballad does less healing? I didn't even know it did heal. On combat start, friendly skills are disabled. On monster kill, you can use a friendly skill for two turns. On friendly skill, the target heals for 25% of max health. That's pretty crazy. <clears throat> Sorry, someone came in. Also, I changed my settings, so now there will be a bit more boom to the sound effects. So, <laughs> now, where were we? Ah, yes, the Amber Areola. Ariel. 
Man at arms only, minus 10% crit receive chance, minus 10% crit, on friendly skill, buff the target for 15% protection, minus 15% stress, however, debuff them to deal less damage. Very, very good defensive um, sort of choice. I can see that. I can see that working. Especially if you have some way to buff yourself back up. Which, for the most part, if you're using any sort of team with Amber, you're going to be buffing yourself up effectively. Remnant of the Empire. 50% Bleed and Blight resistance. On monster kill, cure horror. And on being hit, equip an Ostwinger banner. Empowers battle heal and inspiring cry at a cost. Ominous. Don't know what that means. We would have to try it. The Pure Amber Core. For the Dredge only. What the heck is the Dredge? Is that a new character? It's not the um, Judicator. Interesting. I didn't know that there was a new class. That's a little bit of a spoiler there. Now I'm excited to see who it is. Let's see. Uh, can't deal damage, crit, or blight while on foot. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. On monster kill, reset heat level. On monster kill, equip the pure amber core. Lasts for the duration of the eldritch core. And finally, the bloodlust periapt. Oh, whoa. More stress received. On attack, buff self. 20% damage, 4% crit for 8 rounds. That is... That's pretty good. On kill, other heroes heal for 20% of max health, but on attack, you take 6 damage. Interesting. These are all very, very... There isn't a single one of those that I can say, Ah, that's boring. All of those have some form of synergy, or some form of team composition. Team composition. So I like that. I like that. Every single one of them seems useful to some degree. It is not often you see a forge on a ship. Do not take this oddity for granted. This is the forge. It is exactly what you'd expect. It allows us to upgrade our stuff, and then we can reduce the cost of said upgrades. The valley does not condone foolhardiness. They must be in tune with the land. The Gaspard. Field guides reduce the cost of camping skill purchases. So this is the camper. For example, we can just get some stuff. Let's see. The training hall. Our enemies are disciplined, wild, or naturally savage. No amount of preparation is too much. As you'd expect, this is a training hall. Instructor mastery, training regimen. It is exactly what you would expect from the training hall. And the galley. Our forces should find refuge here when the burdens of the world become too much to carry. Something I find interesting is there is four slots. It gives you a lot of potential to just go stress healing. The bar improves the bar's facilities. Side effect chances. You have a 7.5% to gain a buff or debuff and a 10% chance to lose some gold. Gambling. 10% chance to gain gold, 5% chance to gain a trinket, 20% chance to lose gold, and a 15% chance to stay for an additional week. The Fighting Pit has a lot. 10% chance to gain gold, or a buff, or lose gold, or stay, 5% chance to gain a trinket, 15% chance to gain a debuff, uh, spend one to two weeks recovering from a fight at a 15% chance. And that is everything that we have to offer. Oh, and we even have someone for the info comms. Oh, I see. This is all of the, uh, the help stuff. I'll just very quickly, or very slowly go through this just in case you guys need any of this because I'm sure some of you will be very curious as to what stuff does so we're just gonna go ahead and scroll through it and feel free to pause at any time 
So you can uh, read it. Obviously, I've already kind of given a glance through this. We'll see how much I actually remember. But I've already glanced through this, so anything that you would like to read through, feel free and pause and just give it a little bit of a read. And that is that. Alrighty. Welcome to the valley. It is beautiful, but not forgiving. And the careless will know its wrath. So I see this has received quite a bit of a facelift. Now, I do want to see who the fair... Never mind. The fairy is unavailable. We cannot do that. So the only place we can go is the first delve. Now, what I'm thinking of doing, as we have been doing, uh, I want to focus on the one area that's new. So I think we're just going to quote, quote, speed ahead. And I will meet you guys in the new area. However, I noticed a new icon for uh, Reckless Rage. They're still overhauling this mode like crazy. Command still seems so good. I just love the new command. It is so, like, it juicy. And then ignores the, all oh, right, the uh, prep round. Oh, how could I forget about that? <laughs> and how could I have not seen this coming? It seems as though the provisions has also gotten a little bit of a touch up. So obviously we have this what are you buying? <laughs> kind of guy. Um, oh, interesting. So it tells us where we're going. It tells us how long it is. Obviously, it's apprentice level one. We have a base scouting chance of 10%. We can actually buy Aegis scales, which is really interesting. Jingseng powder. Uh, lesser botanicals can cleanse and bolster a hero's resilience to marks. However, we need to use our... I'm not... Oh, wait a minute. Is that the dust that we can apparently pick up? Huh. Okay. So, everything has gotten a facelift. And I think this is pretty much saying... Or wait. <gasps> is this like a cheat sheet for what you need in the areas? So, this is... Um... Wildlanders. Yeah, this is Wildlanders. So, it's saying bring a lot of torches... Bring a lot of bandages. This is, um, ah, oh, what are they? Not the Karvats. They're the things you find in the dark. The, um, the, huh, those guys. <laughs> the Levantine. That's it, Levantine. You want to bring a lot of honing oil and archaeology kits, and the new area, you want to bring a lot of disease kits, it looks like, and shovels. Oh, that's so cool. I love having that. Okay. Such a tiny detail goes such a long ways. That is so cool. Okay. I know we're jumping around a lot, but another tiny detail that I, oh, it actually tells you what ammo is selected down here rather than above her head. So now, for example, the little ball is saying that we are on the standard ammo. And I assume once we change to shrapnel and concussive, this little icon will probably change to like something spiky and then something stunning. I also did not notice this. Her patch up heals and has a regen. That is so... That's amazing. You wanna know why that's amazing? Because that means for one turn, you cannot die to a dot. And if you know anything about me, you know how bad my luck is against dots. So you know what? I appreciate that. Stun. Oh wait, no, it's preparation. Okay. 
Apparently, I need to relearn the ropes. Actually, ah, 85 accuracy, ouch. 23 damage, you'd love to see it. Okay, so, so here's Shrapnel, here's Concussive. Oh, it does work that way, that's so good. It actively tells you, and it even has unique little icons for each one. Oh, good dodge. <laughs> Man, that's an awful lot of debuffs. Sure would be a shame if you got stunned for the rest of your life. He didn't even get stunned! Rigged. Oh, we did get Levantine Slayer, though. Another skirmish, another step forward. And there's no victory music. Huh. <laughs> this is a huge update. Well, isn't this interesting? Ignores prep round accuracy reduction moves. Accuracy reduced by 50%. Other moves. Accuracy. Ac wait. Cannot crit on prep round. Okay, so I'm a little bit confused what this means. So it ignores moves. So moves that normally just ignore the debuff altogether now have a 50% accuracy. All other moves have a 5% accuracy. They cannot crit, but for some reason they're all shuffled. Weird. I won't even... Oh, it's because they were surprised. Interesting. So surprising them actually makes them... Quite literally, they lose their formation. Oh, what a good heal. They lose their formation because they just, they were surprised by us. They weren't expecting us to show up. Interesting. Okay. I mean, it certainly sucks with the whole... Actually, you know what? I'll totally take him being in the first position. That works for me. Cursory retreat. Weird. I mean, I kind of like how that works, but at the same time, weird. Diva. Okay, we almost got hit. Luckily, we didn't. Um, I'm just gonna make. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna make them all take some damage. Four damage for you, sir. And then let's get a repost here, and then we'll set up a repost on the next turn. Reckless rage. Abandon hope, all ye who enter. Ow. 11 damage, even with our 20% protection. Skull Bash! I'm guessing that was a chance to stun. Ah! Well, if you wanted a chance to stun, there it is. Bleed. Okay. Um, Big heal? What do we think? 0 to 26. I say we're going to max roll it. Well, okay, that's not bad. <laughs> that could have been significantly worse. Let's go ahead and set up for a post on ourselves because he is absolutely going to go for an attack on one of us, so we may as well be ready. We are also going to go for the hit. Unfortunately, we do not end up landing it. He is going to go for the train slash. It's going to hit our man at arms. We do hit him with with the repost. It ends up doing nine damage. He's going to go for the chest caver. He does miss. We do 16 damage, and then he gets amber debuffed. Volatile impact into the double repost. We only hit one of the reposts. We deal 10 damage. Is anybody stunned? Luckily not. We're just going to do a whopping 20 damage to Levantine Champion. We are also going to go for a one heal, but luckily no bleed. Um, yeah, I kind of want him out of the picture, gonna be honest. They're kind of deadly. Train slash into repost. He's a goner. And then, ah, uh, okay, I was gonna say that we could, uh, that we could hit him, but unfortunately, it doesn't look that way. Curve a draw. Okay, that's the extra damage versus Mart, I think? Not that it matters. There's more where that came from. Nice. Huh. So shuffling is completely new now. Also, we... Okay, I, I realize there's still multiple battles to go, but we're not doing that bad. Who would have guessed? The tutorial <laughs> isn't that hard. Who knows? Every time we play through an expansion of the Black Reliquary, 
I say that they're more and more balanced. So who knows, maybe this is going to be the single most balanced experience that we've ever had. I say that as the thaumaturge shows up, but you know what I mean. Quest complete. Now, do we have any way to not get ambushed? Uh, actually, yeah. Yeah, we do. Rest. We will need your strength come daybreak. Ah. <sighs> They get horror. However, that doesn't matter because we're about to leave. Um, party minus 20 stress. <laughs> uh, that's self only. Uh, hmm. A lot of self onlys. You know what? Heal. <sighs> if only we had another pep talk. Unfortunately, we don't. So, we're gonna go for hobby and hobby. Excuse me, my nose is a little bit stuffy. Against the light, our foes will fall. And that, as they say, is that. Nice. 11.7k gold. Uh, plus the 5k, we got the resolve and hindering stone. We got 15 matox. Matox. And a single Amber. We also went up to level 2 on everybody. Risk Taker. Eh. Thick Blooded. Okay. Mm -hmm. Downer. Mm -hmm. Mellow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we got it. Oh, religious. Or faith. Faithful. Religious. Yes! We're in business, boys. We are finally in business. <laughs> Judgment now has a new uh, look. Hand of Light also has a little bit of a new look. I am so glad we finally have a religious vestal. I cannot believe we went through the entirety of last patch and our only religious vestal died immediately. Let's see. Um, Untalented kind of sucks fumbling okay well she's not a melee vestal has mastered the process of amber refinement more stress healing received in the amber workshop okay faith and caregiving are indispensable qualities in these lands and the judicator as long as you're not faithless religious that's fine religious or pagan is uh, totally fine robust that's pretty good shocker that's pretty bad um okay it takes unbreakable resolve and devotion to the light to resist the corruption garnered from amber consumption. And the upgrades are as you would expect. Now, what's interesting, we actually start technically with level 1 experienced recruits. Huh. Increase the size of the hero roster. Increases the number of recruits available for hire. The chance will take effect after you return from your next quest. Uh, we're just gonna go boom, boom. Yep. We absolutely want to increase our chances for getting good characters. So, well, someone just ran across. Huh. Oh, I see. It's characters that we can get. They sort of just run across. Like, that was the Houndmaster. I wonder if we can see all the characters, or is it just the Houndmaster on repeat? Okay, it's just the Houndmaster, but that's fine. The fact it's animated at all is pretty dang impressive. Or wait a minute, no. It's the Crusader and the, uh... and the Highwayman. It is different. What? Okay, they pulled off some black magic to... <laughs> to get all this working. I don't even know how they did that. Let's see, that's the Leper, the Jester, and... the Arbalist. <laughs> Oh, man, that's a lot of missions. Oh, interesting. They all look different, though. So this is a light and daytime. And now we can go to the caverns. That which rampages. Plus 10% debuff and mark skill chance, plus 2 speed. The troglodytes should not be left to their own devices. Disrupt their sinister machinations. I kind of want this. Um... 
Yeah, the shield breaker thing could be pretty cool. I think we're gonna go for this. Minus stress damage taken is just kind of good. So, shall we gear up? The time has come. Alum will be useful to ward against the dark powers channeled by the troglodytes. And alas, here we go. We bring the Judicator with the Accuracy Stone, the Damage Stone, Amber Nail Crucify, Fury of the Ancients, Calcified Condemnation, Barista in the Man-at-Arms with the Protection Stone, the Profane Scroll, which might be a mistake, but that's okay, Bellow Retribution Command, and Bolster. The Vestal with the Speed Stone, the Resolve Stone, Judgment, Dazzling Light, Divine Grace, and Divine Comfort. And Margaret the Musketeer with, well, no, <laughs> no trinkets. Uh, standard Shot, Smoke Screen, Change Ammo, and Patch Up. Oh, it's gonna be one of these kind of places, is it? Alright. Here we go, then. So this is kind of like a Farmstead Plus situation, where there's only like one spot in between rooms, but... We must be more vigilant. That should be fine. Whoa. Also, the ambiance is legit just like rumbles. <laughs> That's a little bit off-putting. Just a tiny bit. It makes you think that you really shouldn't be down here. But we're going to be down here anyway because it's a new area. <laughs> as far as I know, we're about to see Gollum down here. My precious, my precious Amber. <laughs> His Amber is the only thing keeping him down here. Oh, also, plus Lost Legion spawn chance. Okay. Same old, same old. Squalid Barrow, a troglodyte's personal dwelling covered in the skulls of, dr of trespassers. Disease kit. That item had no effect. Ha ha! That might have been a mistake. Ignore stealth. 50% uh, damage for three turns. So they all ignore stealth. Okay. Well then. Um. This one's tanky. So we're gonna expiate him. So hopefully we can get a little bit of healing out of him. Amber Bola. Before some devilry. So we're amber blighted. Okay. It's time to. Oh. <laughs> it's time to feel our own medicine. Alright. So be it. Let's do a little bit of damage to all of them. They'll take four damage. It adds up. Give ourselves a little bit of dodge. Minus chance to be crit. We are going to be debuffed basically after everything we do. Let's try and amber blight them. Here we go. Excellent. Subhuman bile. Nausea. Ah, that's why we need to bring the disease kits, is it? They have a high disease chance. Oh, uh, doing their voice is gonna hurt my uh hurt my voice. Ooh, for stun. On the healer, no less. Somewhat high bleed, resist. Hmm. Minus stun resist. We didn't bring any stun. Shuffle resistance isn't gonna help us a whole heck of a lot. Let's lower their protection as well as their accuracy. Unfortunately, we only landed on one of them. That kinda suck. Do some damage back here, because something is telling me the slinger might actually be the big threat. Okay, we do hit a really, really nasty repost. He is dead to the XP8. My heart will burst. You know what? The power of the amber is mine. 
Okay, we do get debuffed immediately after. Crash! It does end up missing 13 damage. That's... Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm gonna go for a heal on everybody. It basically heals for nothing, but you know what? It's the idea that counts. At the bull. 11 damage. Man, these reposts are hitting them hard. Let's try and debuff them. We do manage to debuff two of them. Stop so damn. Ouch, we're taking a lot of damage. Okay, go for a heal here. It is also going to give us the regen. Very nice. We are going to try and kill, but an Amber Blight would work just fine. All right, that works just fine for me. We need to finish this fight quickly. Amber Blight. Ah, oh, we do it. We do end up missing the repost. A little bit unfortunate. We are going to go. This is the armor piercing. 18 damage. Very good. Actually, that's just going to be really solid here. Go for a heal here. Another repost. Okay, you end up getting blighted. My veins are on fire. Not able to hit. Keep their post going. They might get reinforcements. Had a feeling. Troglodyte Tracker. Troglodyte Beast Swarm. Okay, that'll do a little bit of... Don't summon more. Okay, I was gonna say, if he summons more, I'm gonna be upset. Okay, we take out his buddy. It is only him left, so we need to get through these corpses. Uh, the bleed does help. Actually. Okay, that corpse is gone. He's now in hitting range. Stack out. Okay, we end up missing. He does debuff us. Plus dodge. I wanted to go for a heal, but we need to do damage to him. Now we can go for a heal. It does end up healing for nine, so it helps. Uh, definitely should have brought some... Hmm, some way to get rid of the... Actually, Plague Doctor is going to be amazing here. Um, okay, we do get rid of another body. Everybody can now hit him. There is no reinforcements warning, so we just need to worry about him. Swine! Okay, summoned a buddy. Wait, what? Oh, it's like the rats. Oh, no. Okay. I see how this is going to be. It's like the rats. He's slowly going to buff himself up, so we actually need to take him out somewhat quickly. Um, let's go ahead and debuff him as much as we can. Or it won't land at all. We are unable to hit him with the musketeer from this point onwards, so let's go ahead and amber blight. Okay, now we're going to be able to do some... We need to finish this fight quickly. Stick it. Yeah, he's got two turns. Because both of them are going to be doing damage now. Okay. I see how this is going to go. So these guys are like... Not too deadly. Not so good. Not too deadly, quote quote, alone. But once they start swarming... That's when they're a problem. We do land the stun, and that also counts as an attack. So... <coughs> Let's go ahead and apply bleed. Excuse me. I just had a little bit of a cough. Not sure why. He's almost down. Okay, he takes a little bit of bleed. Actually, he's dead to the bleed regardless. So, I'm going to go for a heal on everybody. We do actually end up landing a pretty good crit heal. Okay. Use a disease kit to keep our disease at bay. I've been through worse. Yikes. Definitely not the best disease in the world to have. Whoa. Broken down dredge. The cold remains of, of a falling dredge unit. Okay, I thought maybe that worked. Hello. Nice. You love to see it. I was thinking maybe we could, like, reactivate it with the amber, but apparently not quite so. Okay. So Torchlight isn't going to be too big of a problem here, actually. 
considering the whole one room thing. Uh, yeah, why not? Caverns explore. <laughs> That's what I like to see. Double dodge. Um, we, eh, we're not gonna interact with that. Mainly because I forget what we're supposed to use. This person seems to have died in this pose. Torch? That item had no effect. Okay, well. <sighs> what in the world? So when you go for so anything with the swarm tag is going to be a little bit of a threat. <sighs> okay. In that case. Expiate here, that way we could just do some passive damage. Let's get the turn one buff up and rolling. Call the Vakaba. Uh, um. Okay, let's get the Amber Blight on him before he can. S I don't think we're up to the task. Yeah, you wouldn't. Um. Let's just do damage to all of them. Every little bit is going to count. Okay, he does end up missing. Septic Septic Stone. Um. Let's Amber Blight him. So we now have, er, I'm sorry, let's expiate him. Uh, oh. That does end up stunning us, okay. A little bit unfortunate, not the end of the world. Stick him. Okay, he's debuffed. Um, I'm going to miss him entirely because I didn't want to hit him anyway. Uh,. Set up a post. I'll turn a little bit. Could go for the kill. I think that was for the best before he's able to uh, start stacking up. Ouch. These are some nasty blights. I think we're going to need a plague doctor in this place. However, I wouldn't be opposed to just bringing a ton of antivenom. <laughs> that would probably also help our cause quite a bit. Let's try and debuff them as much as we can. Blast. Okay, we do end up getting the healing. Very nice. I'm gonna leave you and go for the kill on you. The bleed was just as a, uh, you know, just in case measure. Let's go ahead and Amber Blight him, that way he's not too much of a threat for us, even if he does get past this. Echolocation? That was the sound. <laughs> go for another debuff. Doesn't land on either of them, you hate to see it. So let's set up our post because we're not able to hit them right now. Ouch. Can't go for a single target heal. Is this a two turn? Oh, we got knocked out of position for it. Ah. That's why we can't use it. Not because we're out of position. Can you... 4% chance it's already gone off twice. You love to see it. That's what I call super lucky. By the way, the little doing. I keep thinking that's my phone going off. That. I keep thinking that's my phone. That is really bothering me. Because I keep looking back, I'm like, why is my phone going off so much? It never goes off this much. But, no, it's just... It's the music. Echo location. Okay, that's not something we can repost, unfortunately. We do have anxiety now. Hey, I, I know that better than, any, than anybody. <laughs> um, We're not able to do damage, so let's just try and get through the bodies. Ah... Uh, Unfortunately, it seems like he is going to get a little bit of backup, so we need a little bit more backline damage. Or, it didn't matter, because we did enough hits. Excellent. Another skirmish, another step forward. You know what? 
Primitive cave drawing. These crude etchings depict a dark prophecy. You know what? Why not? <laughs> you know what? I'll take that. I will take that. That's pretty good. I was going to say she has the most stress, so it doesn't really matter if she gets stressed out even more. But, um, yeah. I'm too busy to fall to sickness. How much does that... Yeah, okay. Yeah, that really, that does help. Only 5%, and we do have a little bit of... Minus accuracy. What is that? A saddleback. Uh-oh, we got a swarmer. Oh, extra health. Uh, is that for everybody? No. It's just for him. Okay. Well, if you're going to be stacking health, I'm going to be stacking healing. Give ourselves a little bit of dodge, as well as the minus crit chance received. Um... Go for damage on everybody, we may as well. Even though it misses, it does still do the damage, luckily for us. Some human mile. Some human mile. Amber Bola. <laughs> My voice is going to be so dead by the end of this. Debuff him. Okay. Feel the air. Okay. He's the support. He's gotta go. But first, attempt to stun. Didn't work. Draws the unmoved. Is that there ready at this time? Okay, it does a tiny bit of stress damage to us. Um. Yeah. Let's just try and get some damage on him before he swarms and summons a lot more. Draws the unmoved. Well, that kind of works out for our repost. Although we are going to get deep. Well, we're apparently not going to get debuff. <sighs> what was that, like an 82% chance to hit? Hmm. Hate to see it. Get another Amber Blight. Start trying to debuff them as much as we possibly can. I'm going to go for an XB8 on him back here. That way we can potentially get a little bit more healing. He is going to go for the Swarm. That means he is going to get a little bit more in terms of backup. He summons the other little guy. Interesting. So the Swarmers can summon any of the other Swarmers. That's dangerous. That can potentially really get out of hand. Well, we give up the two big guys. Okay, we do end up landing the repost, and he takes an extra six damage. Five damage with a new debuff. Okay. Try and dump us them down as much as we can. And get a big bleed here. Or wait, no, it's not expiated. What grievous injury. Okay, I think we'll be okay. Fill the air. That's another 15% health. Or er, no, it's not? Oh, I'm thinking of his aura. Okay, his aura gives him... Wait, attacks from Saddleback's ally apply Amber Blight. Eh. That's kind of a problem. Okay, these guys are big problems. Basim. Okay, we do get 10. He's going to take 6. We're not healed just yet. We are going to be healed next turn. I'm going to try and finish him off. 20? He's dead to bleed. Even if he wasn't dead to bleed, he will be dead to the XP8. Oh boy. We have a chance to lose our, uh... Okay, we're good. <sighs> oh! He's so close to death. He is going to heal us next turn. Um... Set up for a post here, just in case. Plus the crit chance is going to be nice. We're not able to stun from this position. Mark self. Give ourselves as much of a fighting chance as we can possibly get. He he does go down. Okay, we recover from the stun. Subterranean discharge. <sighs> yeah, to see it. Also, he didn't take XBA damage. All right. A 
little bit debuffed. If we tarry, surely more will come. Yes, I am acutely aware of that. Thank you for that existential crisis. Subterranean Discharge, can you actually take damage this time and heal us? Thank you very much. And be gone. An adequate performance for now. Keep it up. Are you religious? No, you're not. Okay, you get this, you get that. Um Okay, we're gonna change up our plan a little bit. Buckshot. Smoke screen, we unfortunately are going to have to get rid of. So buckshot is going to be a lot of our damage now. Hmm. Let's Dual Convocation Indictment Brand Amber Nail Calcified Condemnation And then for this Um She has to be in the back too, right? Technically she doesn't have to be but hmm. Oh, and this has a cooldown on one turn too. Hmm. Okay. She's not gonna be very good at it. But here's what we're gonna do. Judgment, dazzling light. Buff everybody up. Divine comfort. Uh, not good. But we make use of what we got. We have three swarmers. Oh boy. Um. XP8. And then we start buffing next turn. As for what we do here, let's put a regen on her. That way we just heal her up beforehand. He's going for Aura of Amber. That's going to give him 50% max health. Um, Indictment Brand. Okay. Strength of the Carapace. Regen, 3 over 3. And everybody has 10% protection. Fill the air. That is going to be a... Um, basically all status chance up. Ouch. 10 damage. Okay. Into the immediate stun. 100% base. So we base that at 80%. Here we go. Did not land it. 80%. Gear Buster sounds like a horror. It's both. Bash him. Stun? Yikes! They have such high stun chance! Oh my goodness! More crit receive chance. Chance to stun. Double dodge! And it's on cooldown now. Okay, they're all about to get buddies. I really wish any of those stuns would have landed. That would have been nice. Oh my god! 4% chance, and we've already seen it three times. Yikes! Minus... Minus stun resist! Ear burster. Okay, that's a lot more stress. <sighs> Amber blight this one because it's two people who can do damage to us. That's a lot of turns. Bash him. 
That shouldn't. We have 70%. Are you kidding me? Bro. Oh, it's because we have Shocker. Oh, it's because of Shocker. I don't even know who I want to go for first, honestly. Um... This one. The XB8 will kind of help. Slap him! Okay, it would have... Or no, that was him. So it's only when his buddy hits it as it uh, amber blights us. So we're already amber blighted. Okay, we're bled. He has gone for her every single time with that ability. As soon as she takes her turn, we are going to have our first stress check. Can't be stunned because we're already stunned. Oh boy. Paranoid. Something follows. It is near. Be gone. Wait. Yes, be gone. Only landed on one of them. <sighs> Bash him, that's a stun. Which landed again. Holy crap, what is that stun chance? <laughs> what? Okay, we only have 30% base. And then... We have the buff for the 10%. Oh my goodness. This is... They land that. Okay. Bring your stun resistance trinkets, I guess. Okay, he has more chance to land stuff. We're just not really able to do damage. We're playing backup more than, uh, more than anything else. That's a bleed, I believe. Uh, strength of the Carapus. All of them get a regen again? Okay. Um, yeah, the whole regen thing. Still not a fan of it. <laughs> Still think, uh, enemies... Now, okay. I will say, the regen isn't nearly as bad as some of the other enemies. But still, I think way too many enemies have regen in this mod altogether. But, I'm not, I'm not gonna get negative. I, only reason I'm even getting... Oh my! What? Oh. I'm not gonna get negative. Six bad things in a row happen. Not born. <laughs> Why? You're. St I hate you. I hate this musketeer. I cannot stand this musket. Another crit heal. Well, you know what? If we get another crit heal, we got triple six on our hands, boys. I think we've already had our first group wipe. Gouge him. Okay, we're bled. Ear burster. Has he gone for anybody else except the musketeer with that move? I don't think he has. Can we heal? Thank you. Okay, we've recovered from stun again. We have 90% stun resistance now. Okay, we have the regen, so at least we won't die from the dot. I want to run, but they're all faster than us. Okay, we do end up getting the heal. That's pretty nice. Ear burster again on the musketeer. As soon as I can have a turn, I'm going to try and run. Don't worry, as soon as we get a turn. <laughs> okay, we finally get a turn and retreat failed. Nice, you love to see it. Butcher him. I think that's a bleed. Yeah. Retreat failed again. 
All right, we have one more try. Knowing your limit is key to survival. <clears throat> okay. That will do. Limiting losses can be its own victory. Well, that was uh, horrendous. Regrettably, not each soul among us will be able to witness the end of it all. <clears throat> we didn't even get anybody new. It doesn't count as a new week. Ugh. Wait, what? Wait, what? Why did we not get anybody new? We're on week three. The ferry is empty. Check back after- Wait, 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 what? Why did we not get anybody new? Because we're not on week two still. We're on week three now. And we- Okay, hang on. So we unlock this on week two. And it's week three. And we just don't get anybody new? That's kind of brutal. <laughs> so whenever you upgrade it, it's just unavailable for the next week. And then the week after it comes back up? Ugh. That is really brutal. Oh, I don't know how much I like that. So you're punished for one week after you upgrade something. Uh, or it's a bug. Could be a bug. I'm willing to say it's a bug, because that definitely doesn't seem intentional. <laughs> okay, so, what did we learn? Oh wait, no, I guess technically it is still the same week? I could have sworn... Okay, uh, apparently we didn't actually move in week. So, that's... weird. Huh. Um, okay. So, the caverns is going to be insanely difficult. And we have to do it with characters who are stressed out and diseased up. Okay. Alright. I see this is going to be our most challenging run yet. Well. I believe that's going to do it for this uh, introduction episode. We're definitely in for it now. Uh, I can, without a doubt, say, despite us finally getting a reli- Okay, the religious ves vestal is cursed. Also, fear of troglodyte. Troglodyte intimidated. Oof. So, I'm pretty sure religious vestals are, um, they're cursed. If we get a religious vestal, run. Because we didn't get one the entirety of the last patch. We get one first thing this patch. And it all goes super wrong. So. <laughs> yeah, that's good to know. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you're excited for this series of. The, Black, the new patch of the Black Reliquary. Oh boy. We're going to need a will of steel for this one. Because this one. It's not going to go easy on us, so we're going to have to really stick this one out. But, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you have any tips, I would love to hear them. Because uh, clearly I did not do multiple things right there. Um, possibly relying on XP8 a little bit too much. I think maybe that's what our problem was. Or we just flat didn't have enough damage. Um... Yeah, I I'm willing to say we just didn't have enough damage. Maybe if we had brought the Hellion, that would have been a lot better. Although Coward is kind of meh. So, yeah. Okay, definitely should have brought the Hellion in place of the Man at Arms. That I'm willing to say. So I'm willing to say this was probably just my fault. Um, I don't think I played that entirely correctly. But it's a brand new dungeon. I don't think anybody expected me to uh, play perfect against enemies that it was my first time seeing. So, <laughs> so things to keep in mind. 
Swarm or anything with the swarm tag has to die fast. You gotta kill it before it's able to get that second buddy because then it is a huge problem. So swarmers have to go first. Um, the swarmer that has the aura of amber, that has to go before anything else. The really tall cockroach guy is probably second highest priority. Um, they definitely seem like the two most deadly ones so far. So, at the very least, we gained a lot of knowledge from it. And, uh, <laughs> in the next one, we're gonna put our knowledge to the test. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.